Hey guys, we're doing a breast cancer awareness ribbon today. My stone is about four inches and I'm going to cover it with black paint, just matte black paint um, to start it off. Then we're going to draw on a ribbon, which is really simple, half a circle and then an X. And then you just kind of make the ribbon as thick as you want, as you can see here. Now you can make the ribbon have a little bit of a wave to it. It's completely up to you. I'm just starting it off uh, with this shape and then we can change it up if we want to later on. Now because I'm on a black surface now, I need to lighten up the area where the ribbon's going to be so that the pink stands out. Pink is the color for breast cancer awareness. So we are going to start it off with white acrylic paint, let it dry, and then I'm adding magenta and a little bit of white together to get that pink that I like. Um, kind of looks a little bit like a bubblegum pink, but we're going to make this ribbon look like pink satin because we're going to do a little bit of blending and uh, you will see as we go along. I am starting off with a paintbrush doing the first coat of my pink. You can choose whatever pink you like. You don't have to choose the same pink as me. I just had magenta and I added some white to it. So I am doing one coat and then I'm going to take a sponge to it to get rid of all those brush strokes that I don't like and give it a nice like airbrushed look. Make sure that all of the uh, surface is covered the way I like it to be. I do find that with a sponge, you get better coverage. So it's kind of the same as with makeup, uh, with uh, foundation and stuff. If you use a sponge or special brush, then you can get really good coverage that way. So I've got my two layers of pink and now I'm adding a little bit of sheen to our satin ribbon. So I'm adding a little bit of white and then I'm just gonna keep blending the pink in to the white until it looks like a nice shine in the ribbon and it sometimes you don't see it right away but when it's all said and done it looks like a satin ribbon I am going to do this um, little bit of white in three different spots you can just choose a couple of different random spots to look like the ribbon is shiny now if you're frustrated at all with doing this little shiny bit you don't have to do it. You can skip it and just have a full pink ribbon. It'll still look just as beautiful uh, without the shiny bits. I'm just showing you a little technique that I like to use on a lot of my stones. I like to make it look like it's shiny in places. So it's just fun. Use any kind of sponge you want. You don't have to use the same uh, sponges that I'm using. They're Martha Stewart uh, paint pouncers or sponge daubers and uh, they're fabulous. I use them all the time. So now that we like the way our ribbon looks, we're going to clean it up. We're going to uh, use some gold and outline the entire ribbon in gold. And then we're going to clean up whatever's left over outside of the gold using black paint. So we're, we'll be doing cleanup as I like to call it. Now I'm also going to be showing you you can do any color ribbon you want. Actually, um, this month in September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so you could do a gold ribbon for that. Um, you can look up online what ribbons are for what awareness, and uh, I'll actually leave a link in the description showing you the colors of ribbons as well. But uh, for all cancers, the color is lavender. So I'm actually doing a lavender one, and I'll show you at the end of the video what the lavender one looks like so that you can just uh, give awareness to all cancers, which is, uh, which is kind of nice too. And my favorite color is purple, so lavender's right in there. <laughs> I want to thank you guys all for joining me again and being patient. Uh, since my kids have gone back to school, um, my kids have been sick twice, um, which is always wonderful, and bringing those illnesses home to us <laughs> and our home. So uh, yeah, my son is currently in the middle of being picked up from school again because he's not feeling well. So this is my only chance to get this this one up. I'm going to try and get some more up later on uh, in the week, but today this is the only one I could put up. Um, so I'm going to leave in the description a bunch of information about cancer, breast cancer awareness. This, of course, is the breast cancer awareness ribbon. So I will leave lots of information 
uh, in the description. The whole month of October is for breast cancer awareness and that's where they raise funds and charities are donating to charities and stuff like that just to make sure that we have the funds for more research so that this breast cancer isn't such a scary thing for everybody. I'm adding three simple butterflies. You don't have to have the butterflies. You can add hearts. You can add um, dragonflies. It's completely up to you. If you don't want to add any, that's fine. Uh, we will be dotting around all of these butterflies too, so keep that in mind. You also don't have to do the dotted part, but it's optional. I will be adding a little bit of glitter to each one of these butterflies and uh, that's optional as well. So you do what you want to do. I'm just giving you uh, a little bit of inspiration. So I, uh, for anyone who has been fighting breast cancer, is uh, has survived breast cancer, who's fighting, anyone who's involved, who knows someone, paint them one of these. Paint one of these for yourself. Um, remind yourself that you need to go get checked ahead of time so that you catch it fast if there's anything there. Um, I personally have not been affected by breast cancer, thank the Lord, uh, yet. Um, but I'm sure that there will be either someone in my family or one of my friends or even myself that may end up being a fighter uh, one of these days. So always get your boobies checked, guys. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, but uh, get them checked so that you can catch things early and you can win. You can win the battle. And for anyone who's lost anyone to breast cancer, I'm sending my heart to you today as well. Now I'm adding white dots, just using a, a nail dotting tool or some people call them stylists, I believe. Um, I'm not even sure. The words always escape me when I'm doing a tutorial. Just keep that in mind. So I've started off with white dots, just little ones all around the entire ribbon. And uh, then I've added a little bit of the pink to the white. So now my next layer of dots is like a light pink. And it kind of makes it look like the ribbon is almost glowing, like in, in amongst the dots once we're done. Because I'm going to gradually get darker and darker so that by the time we're at the very edge of the rock, um, there will be that, that solid pink color that's in the ribbon. So you can see it just gradually getting darker. Uh, it's like an ombre or ombre, however you like to pronounce it wherever you are from. I'm used to saying ombre, but... I was corrected politely by someone on my channel saying we call it ombre. So uh, I don't know where you're from, Wh whatever you like to call it. It has this nice gradual effect from light to dark. There you go. <laughs> and I love that look, by the way. So I've added a little bit. Uh, I will be adding, sorry, a little bit of nail glitter. Uh, same stuff I use in most of my videos. I will leave the link in the description. Um, it's uh, just a little bit of fine glitter chrome powder that I'm going to add to the butterflies. And, uh, and then I put a clear coat over top of them with, uh, now I don't even know that, the name of that stuff. It's Deco Art, I believe. Deco Art uh, DuraClear Gloss Varnish. And I add just a little bit of that over the butterflies to keep the glitter just on the butterflies. And then... The rest of it's not glittery. You can add glitter to your ribbon. If you don't like the shiny look, like the satiny look, definitely add glitter uh, or don't. It's completely up to you. You can have as much fun as you want with, uh, with these beautiful ribbon rocks. Now, to hand one of these to someone and give them a little bit of hope is an awesome, awesome gift. Um, I've made a few of these over the years. And uh, they're one of my favorite kinds of rocks to make is these cancer awareness rocks. So you can do whatever you want to them to make them look beautiful. This is just my idea here. You know how I love dots and glitter and gold? Well, it's all in this one in a nice little sandwich. <laughs> so I finished it. Now I've resined it 
and there's the lavender one as well for uh, awareness for all other cancers, all cancers. So if you don't know what color you want to, to spread awareness for, just share a lavender one because that is perfect. You can see the glitter on the butterflies. It's 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 not super glittery, but it's there. It really does make a big difference. I've got glitter on the purple butterflies on this one. I added four of them on there. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you guys for doing this with me. Thank you for painting. And thank you for your wonderful, wonderful comments every day. I love you guys so much and appreciate every single one of you watching my videos and painting with me. Just keep going and spread awareness.